After a deadly car crash in Crete left two dead in July, the family is now asking for help. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Macy Meyer joins us now with more. That's right, Katrina. Family and friends of Jan Silva and Clarence Patsloff got together today to share memories of the two and to try and raise money for the family. Dozens gathered today at a fundraiser in hopes to raise funds for the family of Jan Silva and Clarence Patsloff. Uh, we wanted to get as many people together as we could to help support, to help fund the untimely death and things that are associated with the cost of that. The family aimed to raise money after the two were killed in a car accident in Crete on July 10. 85-year-old Silva and 57-year-old Patsloff, both of Milligan, died when the car they were in crossed the center line and hit a pickup truck on Highway 33. The driver of the truck was seriously injured and life flighted to a Lincoln hospital and the family of the two killed were left devastated by the unexpected death. Hundreds of items were donated to the family to hold a silent auction and ticket raffle. A few of the items included paintings, bikes, collectible coins, and numerous gift baskets. Not only did it give the family a chance to raise money for financial expenses, it gave everyone the opportunity to remember their loved one, including Chloe Rainwright, who reminisces on her favorite memory of her grandfather. And ice cream. We were big ice cream people, so we would get ice cream a lot and, you know, we would do a lot together. I spent almost every day of my life with him, so. Although a tragic situation, the family chose to remember the positive times and tried to keep the tears away. Good. Your grandpa would be so proud. Okay, don't make me cry. Okay, no <laughs> crying, no crying. The family has also set up a Facebook page for donations and hopes to help ease some of the financial costs. If you are interested in donating, we will have all of the information and a link on our website at KOKNTV.com. All right, thank you for bringing us that story, Macy.